Hi students, the following is going to be a quick instructional video on the consumption function related to the graph itself. After this, there'll be some videos on the algebra and also some more numerical examples. This is just going to be a quick one so we can explore how to build the graph itself. Well, we've already seen a little bit of data in the lesson on what uh, it looks like when we graph consumption versus disposable income. So let's see graphically how we would model that. Remember, we're looking at the relationship between consumption and disposable income. What that means is we're going to put consumption, denoted C, on this vertical axis, and disposable income, which is income minus taxes, denoted as Y minus T, here on the horizontal axis. And what we know is that there's an upward slope, and it's also not going to start at zero. So the consumption function is going to be modeled like this. There's a few things that are interesting here. Like I just said, it's not starting at zero. Right? This is the origin. So at this point, you would have y minus t equal to zero. We'd have our disposable income equal to zero. But there still is some level of consumption. We're going to call that autonomous consumption. It's the part of consumption that does not depend on overall income minus taxes, our disposable income. Because we do consume out of things like wealth, or out of savings, or we may need to borrow. There's lots of things that we consume that's not dependent on overall income. So that's the same at the economy level. We also are interested in the slope. So the slope is going to be rise over run. Right? So my slope is always equal to the rise divided by the run. That's what you probably learned in one of your early on algebra classes. But what exactly do we mean by rise over run? We mean our change in the vertical axis. So we want to look here. What's our change here? So we're going from one C to another C. So that's my change in consumption divided by another change. Right? How much am I changing going from one point to another? When I go from here to here, Right? I see another type of change. I see a change in disposable income. So this is change in disposable income. Well, what is that? We've already defined that. We've defined that as the marginal propensity to consume. So the slope is going to be that MPC, marginal propensity to consume. Recall that marginal propensity to consume is defined as how much is consumption going to increase as we increase disposable income. So this is how we're going to model the consumption function graphically. It's going to be upward sloping. It's going to have a positive and constant slope equal to the marginal propensity to consume. And it's going to start at the level of autonomous consumption.